Hi, this is Chris. Today I'm going to talk to you about why it's important to use un universally unique identifiers as keys to your data. And I'm going to show you some of the problems that they solve. In the distributed computing world of mobile devices and an Internet of Things, it becomes almost impossible to have one source for key generation. So each device needs to be able to create their own keys while still making sure that those keys are unique. The answer is to use universally unique identifiers or UUIDs, which is a standard by the Open Software Foundation. And there is industry-wide support for them. For example, PHP, Java, .NET, Oracle, databases and MySQL all have the ways to generate them and SQL Server and Progress SQL even has native UUID data types. So let's talk about the benefits of using UUIDs. And I will start by pointing out some of the problems they can solve. When doing our data models, we have been taught to normalize our databases so that we find primary keys as one of the columns or a combination of columns. If not found, we usually add a generated ID such as an automatically incremented integer. One problem with using a multi-column key is that the queries become more complex as each column needs to be included in each join. And more complex means a lower performance and also larger indices. Another problem is that it's hard for the consumer of the data to know which columns are included in the key. With auto-generated keys, we get the simpler join, but the problem is that each consumer needs to ask the generator for a valid key. And another problem is that there will be holes in the sequence when rows are generated. Yet another problem is that any data that is used has a fixed limit, even if it's huge, so it will eventually run out. Also, it becomes tricky for the client to find out which ID was generated during an insert. With UUIDs, we get the same benefits of the simpler joins as we got with the auto-generated keys, but now each user of the data can generate the new keys and rows without access to any central key generator. It can even happen while disconnected. So any device or thing can generate a key and the maximum 3.4 times 10 up to the power of 38 combination both ensure that each key is unique and that there is no practical limit of keys. But even UUIDs have drawbacks and the most obvious is that they're, they are hard to remember. Therefore, it's a good practice to provide ways of accessing data using attributes that are easier to remember. For example, provide a service that can get an order by providing the order number in addition to getting it using the primary key, which is the UUID. So make sure that you use UUIDs as keys to your data to allow distributed key generation, simplify joins, and to get better performance. Thank you.